Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Panini Select Football. Six box, half case, pick your team, number five. Half case from a fresh case, all card ship, all the XRCs are live. Let's go, let's do it. Big thanks to this group for making it happen, I appreciate it. A lot of you bought spots straight up. Thank you. If you got a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won those spots in the team random. So good luck, everybody. this case open you can see select right there and let's see which six boxes also curious is the way mr cruz runs mike tower says i feel like there was an espn article uh before ahead of top gun maverick we were talking a little bit about that before the video um about uh, how his running style had changed over the years. I want to say his running style is is more, I guess, sprinter-ish. Has developed into a more like sprinter-ish running style. All right, why, why are we missing a die here? What happened over the weekend? I lost this card. The red die is not here anymore. Did red dye like fall somewhere? All right. Anyway, we're st we're stuck with blue dye, or as our only option. But one, two, three for the back row of six, and four, five, six for this front row of six. Good luck. And it's five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll do this front row right here, and these we will save for break six for next time. Oh, it got lost behind the desk? Uh, so what, this is break five, so we'll save these for break six. Yeah, Diego's speculating that maybe, maybe we uh, we grew up just accustomed to Ethan Hunt Mission Impossible running, and now when we see an alternative style of running, it just seems weird now. It's changed. It's developed. All right, so we'll save those for next. With, with a little bit of luck, we might be able to get that second half done tonight. So grab your teams, jazbeescasebreaks.com. There's teams still available straight up. No filler yet, although there could be one happening soon. Nick might be setting one up, or or I'll probably set one up after after my uh, my break. It's true. Tom Tom Cruise is pushing 60 now. Who do you think? Who who's some other famous runners in movies? James Bond runs a lot, right? Who do you think wins in a foot race? Daniel Craig or James Bond? Daniel Craig or Tom Cruise? Daniel Craig might be a little bit younger, right? Well, that, I didn't include Tom Hanks as Forrest Gump because, because you know, that just wouldn't be fair. Obvi that would be obviously the correct answer amongst those three. So I took out, took out that option. All right, box number one. Good luck. We got Zach Davidson to 199. That'll be for the Vikings. That'll be for Brandon. An all card ship, of course. 
and our shipping team will have all those top loaded before they're sorted out. We'll sleeve those up for now. Before the autograph, we've got Jared Dokes, 66 out of 99. That's for Miami. That'll be for EA. Rookie Blue, Club Level Edition. And we've got Jeff Saturday for the Colts. That's going to be for Katie. And the Colts. Here you go, Katie. Zach Wilson, silver, and a Jamar Chase, white prism, 26 out of 35 for uh, the offensive rookie of the year. This will be for Randy and the Bengals. The Zach Wilson ref rookie refractor, or the rookie silver, going to Jeff and the Jets. Maybe we'll find some, uh, some ink for this guy. Devonta Smith, rookie silver for the Eagles. And we've got Dax Milne, 26 out of 49. Field level for the Commanders, Patrick. Devonta Smith going to Sean and the Eagles. Trevor Lawrence rookie card, and a Jalen Darden, 8 out of 75, rookie, jersey, and autograph. And that is for, for Matthew and the Buccaneers. And the Trevor Lawrence going to Sean Maddock and the Jaguars. Elijah Moore Red, 77 out of 149. And we got a Kirk Cousins. Piece of the jersey for the Vikings. Brandon picked up the Vikings straight up. I'm not sure if this was on Brandon's list from earlier of, of players he wanted to see in this break, but a hit nonetheless, 63 out of 75, Kirk Cousins. Tom Brady, silver. And the Elijah Moore, red, to 149 for Jeff and the Jets. Jeffrey and the Jets. Dun, 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 dun. Box one down, box two coming up. Ben Stiller running, I feel, is great, says Diego. Yeah, well, dude is a fitness guy. What are some good, other good runs, runnings? Cool Runnings, there's, there's a run in, uh, in film. I feel like, uh, I feel like Strider, Legolas, and Gimli did a lot of running. This break brought to you by Amazon Prime's Rings of Power. <laughs> Blade Run. You know, Diego, I uh, just did a rewatch of uh, of the original Blade Runner. It's on Netflix, I think. I didn't watch that. In uh, honestly, I don't think I've watched it start to finish ever. I've always seen bits and pieces of it. but finally watched it. Um, a sci-fi classic, people say. There's Ramondre Stevenson to 99. That will be for Rory and the Pats to 99. Roy McElroy winning the uh, FedEx Cup today. That was a pretty exciting finish. TJ Hawkinson to 149. Detroit, that's going to be for Sean. 
Not a lot of running, but Marathon Man is a good movie. And there, Daryl Johnston. Uh, Moose. That's going to go to Sean Maddock and the Cowboys. So let's hit play and listen to Adam Wainwright. 153 out of 2.99. There is The Running Man with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Brian Edwards, Lime Green, 33 out of 49. This is Adam Wainwright song? Huh. Adam Wainwright, musician. He'll do fine in retirement. Tony Romo to 199. Another Devonta Smith Silver for the Eagles. Tony Romo going to Sean and the Cowboys. We got Anthony Schwartz, 162 out of 199. The Schwartz is strong with this one. And that is for Brandon. Cleveland, this is for you. Ooh, some gold mojo. First of all, there's Justin Fields' rookie card. Wow, it's Trevor Lawrence. Three out of 10 club level rookie. Gold Mojo. That is Sean Maddock and the Jaguars. Someone look that up. I, I think you I think some of you may be surprised at how how well that, that card does on a secondary market. And there's T. Higgins, 29 out of 49. Piece of the jersey for Cincinnati, Randy. All right, box two, Daniel Purdy, yeah, huge. There are any on eBay right now? I don't think I see any now, but there is a red version of that club level edition that's to forty nine. That's Three days left at $415 already. Someone's got a Gold Mojo Artistic Selection, which I think is a case hit. Um, five out of 10, open auction, three days left, $2,650. So you can kind of start, uh, start triangulating the price a little bit from there. Diego continuing with the running theme. Running with the Devil, that's another good runner in, in, in media. Last legendary runner, Rocky Bal that's a good runner right there. Rocky Balboa running through Philadelphia. Running with the Devil. I'm looking at sold items. Doesn't look like there's any gold Trevor Lawrence's that have sold. A tie-dye out of 25 went for $660, and that's, I think, concourse level. <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow does have a good run. Good moments in running. 
in cinema. Gila, we're talking about fictional cinema. We got Michael Carter to 149. Mac Jones, rookie silver. Nice. And a Kadarius Tony, rookie out of five. Out of five is an under train whistle. That is for Joe and the Giants. Well, because that's what we were talking about earlier, Chilo. That's why. That's the topic. Joe, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Out of fives and under. Well, it just, just wasn't the topic, Chilo. We are just talking about fictional runners in cinema. When you start your own show, you can uh, you can create whatever topic you want to discuss. It's Carl Banks, another giant for Joe, 34 out of 99. That Michael Carter goes to Jeff and the Jets. Another Michael Carter for Jeff to 199. See that Kyle Pitts too. That's a uh, Todd Bateman, Pat Fryerman, Tom Brady. To 249, Ravens, that's uh, Aaron with that one. And here's the Kyle, because a field level is the, uh, the shortest printed level. And that's rookie and silver. That is for Rob and the Falcons. It's 199. All right, Johnny's trying to help triangulate the price of that T-Law. He's saying T-Law Gold Select Phenomenon, 7 out of 10, uh, sold for 17.75. That's pretty good. There's Diami Brown, jersey and autograph. Rookie jersey and auto for Patrick and the Commanders. So what does everyone think that uh, non-insert T-Law can go for? Club level gold. I think it's gradable? Does it look pretty centered? I don't know. Can't really tell. Can't really tell just eyeballing it, but. And a Trevor Lawrence purple to 75. And we've got an Elijah Moore coming up for Jeff and the Jets. Nice, another one for the Jaguars. Sean Maddock picked up this team straight up. This is a concourse level to 75. Mike Kosicki and C.D. Lamb. All right, halfway through this half case break, About another uh, 20 or so minutes to go. Second half in the store right now. Let's see if Nick put this in a filler while I've been doing this break or if I'm going to do that after my dinner break. No, there's still 11 teams left straight up. So if you, I'll drop the link in the chat if you're watching live and if you want to run this back. Um, man, if we got that break into single digits, maybe even less, that might... That might get us to Breaksville pretty quickly. Someone might just finish off that break or have the last handful of teams, or it'll make whatever filler we create um, a little less expensive, and that'll, that'll make the break go quickly. Either way, we'll kind of pivot one way or the other. All 
right. Good luck. Got another Mac Jones to 199. Patriots. Rory. Some nice, uh, nice Mac Joneses lined up here. We got for the Lions, 98 out of 149. Levi Onwuzurike. That is for Sean and the Detroit Lions. And our autograph is uh, Justin Simmons. Jeff with the Broncos. Sixty out of ninety-nine. Tyson Williams for Aaron and the Ravens to two forty-nine. Simfioko to one ninety-nine. And we got Jacob Harris, four out of 49, jersey and autograph for the Rams. That's going to go to Joshua. I like asking this question from year to year, from season to season, because in the NFL, there's always so much, uh, there is a lot of parity in the NFL. Hmm. 101 out of 149, Rashad Bateman, and a Justin Field Silver. Who's that? That's Newt Bar with a home run. Justin Field Silver going to uh, Jeff and the Bears. And we got a TJ Hawkinson piece of his jersey for Sean and the Lions. 46 out of 99. There's a Tom Brady clubhouse, club level silver. Trey Lance to Han and the Niners, Zach Wilson for Jeff and the Jets, and two boxes to go. But a uh, question I like to ask, who's going to be the surprise team? Every year, there's a team that, you know, that maybe only won like, you know, zero to four games. Every once in a while, that team rebounds and bounces back the next season. Uh, a great example would be the Bengals. I know they had a big injury in 2020, but they only won four games that year. And of course, the following year in 2021, they went to the Super Bowl. So every once in a while, more often than you think, if you look back, there's teams that will do that. Who's that team this year? Who could be kid? I think the Jets could be a team capable of going of doing that. They went four and thirteen. I mean, they could surprise. They could win nine games, nine or ten games this season, be in the hunt for a playoff spot. A lot of that will depend on, uh, you know, on Zach Wilson, of course, and the rest of that team, but. Let's see, what's another four, three to, uh, Texans maybe. They had four wins last year. Yeah, I feel like Jaguars a little more likely, right? That's, that's what Brandon's saying. Let's see, what about the New York football giants? Perhaps. 
What about... Well, Bears actually won six games last year, Rex. I'm talking about like four, three to four win teams. Detroit, three wins. Yeah, Diego thinking Detroit. They lost a lot of one-score games last year. Maybe they turned that turn, turn that around. There's Sam Darnold to 149. Carolina, Jeremy. It's Kenny Galladay to 149, and we got Devin White to 75. Autograph for the Buccaneers, Matthew. Gilo saying Panthers. Yeah, Panthers only only won five games last year. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'd like to see... Uh, Hashtag, what's, who, who's hashtag, hashtag good for the hobby? All right, you do want to say, yeah, the example I was using was the uh, Bengals had won four games in 2020, and then the next season, uh, they went ahead and won, you know, won all the way, won themselves all the way to the uh, Super Bowl. There's James Robinson, Sean Maddock, and the Jaguars. I would like for the Bears to be a surprise team, though. That would be hashtag good for the hobby. Here's a Trevor Lawrence silver concourse level. Another one for uh, Sean and the Jags. And Gilo is saying, hey, Detroit's probably the best, worst team there ever was. Ooh, redemption. Any guesses there? For bragging rights? David Montgomery to 35, White Prism. Joe Mixon, Lime Green to 49. And Brevin Jordan for Texans. But yeah, Justin Fields would be hashtag playing well, would be hashtag good for the hobby. Zach Wilson, yeah, Kyle Pitts, Najee Harris. Like to see, oh, for the redemption, sorry. Fields, Pitts, Najee. All right, the redemption is... It's Chuba Hubbard. Rookie Signatures Memorabilia Blue Prism for the uh, Panthers. That's the team that Gilo thinks is going to be, be uh, the surprise team. They only won... Well, they won five games last year, but... But they ended the season losing seven in a row. Right, 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 right. Rex, Rex, Rex said Chuba Hubbard, but he said that the autocorrect on his phone, it just changed it to... Come on, autocorrect. I, I'd like to see... Giants were a four-win team. I'd like to see the Giants. That would be, that'd be really good for the hobby. That would be good for people who are in on... Who are, uh, who are long on Daniel Jones stuff. What about overrated teams? What, what are some of the overrated teams? What are some uh, division-winning teams that 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 will fail to do so? Bills? No, they're going to win. They're going to win their division, right? Bengals? No, they should be fine. Titans? The twelve and five Titans last year will they be supplanted by the Colts, Texans, or Jaguars this year? 
Maybe Colts. Let's see what Matt Ryan does with that team. Uh, what about the... Yeah, Brandon saying 12-5 and five Chiefs replaced by the my Raiders, right? Brandon, is that what you are about to say? Uh, Aaron thinks Cowboys. 12-5 and five Cowboys will, will be toppled. Gilo says Cowboys for every year and year after that. Yeah, I mean... Maybe the nine and eight Eagles want to take that division. Thirteen and four Buccaneers. Do the Buccaneers keep it going? Yeah, Brandon saying Titans won't make. Oh, Brandon saying. I thought we were friends, Brandon. Brandon saying Chargers will take take the AFC East or AFC West, not my Raiders. Uh, what about the Rams? That's a tough division. NFC West. There's Sam Darnold, 249. Another Sam Darnold, that's to 149. And here is Willis McGahey. Aaron and the Ravens. Gilo, our resident Chiefs fan, thinks actually thinks the Chiefs are underrated this year. People underrating the Chiefs. Yeah, I don't think people realize how scary the Chiefs could be if, uh, I mean, it's kind of like the Raiders. If, 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 if the defense improves, then it could make them pretty dangerous ball clubs, the Chiefs especially. Jalen Waddell, 36 out of 75. J.C. Horn to 199. Joe Horn's kid. Yeah, Gilo's arguing, hey, it's like everyone thinks Tyreek Hill leaving is the end. But he's saying, hey, they, it looks more like one of those, uh, like a Drew Brees Saints kind of offense. Their sensations, Trey Lance. There's Justin Fields. Uh, that... Rookie sensation will go to Han and the Niners. I'm rooting for, for Trey Lance, of course. Justin Fields for the Bears. Smooth, 173 out of 199. Pat Fryermuth. Piece of the jersey. Oh, very good point, Aaron. Aaron's pointing out, well, we still have this little stack left, but no XRC in the first half. There's usually, uh, this goes to Sean Maddock in the Steelers. There's usually a few per case on average. And a tie-dye DeAndre Swift. Nice. Love the tie-dye parallels. And it's field level, too. That is for Sean and Detroit. Got Rondale Moore, a piece of his jersey. Oh, Albert Poole stuffed to bat. Seventeen out of ninety-nine. That is for Sean Maddock and the Arizona Football Cardinals. We're getting towards the end here. So Jacob Harris. Yeah, no XRC card, no zebra, no other short prints. Maybe they're all in the other half. Select six is in store, in store right now. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Let's do a quick little recap here. First half was still pretty solid. Some nice parallels. Some nice ink. That wasn't that. So now to five could be a big year for uh, for Kadarius Tony. Some old school guys. Zach Wilson, Jeff Saturday, and of course that that Trevor Lawrence club level gold mojo three out of ten was a pretty nice one as well. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Second half in the store. Once again, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next football break. Bye-bye.